Hey there! Today, we're going to learn how to do a binomial probability test in Stata. In order to do that, the first thing that we're going to need are data, and then I'm going to talk you through what this test is, what it does. So first, I'm going to show you Stata's uh, auto data set that comes built in. And for binomial probability test, what we need is a variable that's dichotomous. So it can be coded as 0 and 1, 1 and 0, but there's only two possible outcomes. So think of a coin flip. And I think that a really good variable to do that in here is foreign, if we look at it. So of these cars, zero labels domestic, one labels foreign. And let's say that our hypothesis is that domestic and foreign cars are equally represented in this data set. So logically, that would mean a proportion of 0.5, right? Because that's exactly the halfway point between zero and one. So what if we wanted to test that? And if we wanted to express it in a two-tailed way, we would just say that the null hypothesis is that the proportion of domestic to foreign is 0.5, and the alternative is it's not equal to 0.5. So let's go ahead and test that. We're going to type in by test. We're going to type in foreign, which is a variable of interest, and then two equal signs, and then 0.5, and enter. All right. So here we notice actually that the proportion is 0 0.29730, which means that there's a lot more domestic than there are foreign cars because at 0.5, it would be an equal balance. And then anything closer to one would mean more foreign. Anything closer to zero would mean more domestic. So here what's important are the p-values. So um, we can say that the proportion is definitely not equal to 0.5 with a P of 0 0.000643. But if you wanted to express this in a one-tailed fashion, you could basically say that the proportion tilts so that there is more domestic than foreign cars at P.000321, um, since you can convert the two-tailed into a one-tailed as well, given that they're both below 0 0.05. So if you wanted to see what that looks like on a confidence interval plot, you could always just type in scipplot foreign and when this comes up, we can we can basically see where the distribution is tending towards more foreign or more domestic cars in the data set. And here that is. So basically, as you can see, the further down towards zero you go, go, that means the more domestic cars that there are. And the closer you go towards one, the more foreign cars that there are. So this is just a way of showing you that there's more domestic than foreign cars in that data set.